What you are about to see is an awesome video of Chinese aviations and explosions and facts. Warning! Do not try any of these stunts at home or with your friends unless you can afford to buy the aircraft. J11. The J11 is a copy of the Su-27 flank. It is a twin-engine light fighter with a crew of one, the length of 21.9 meters with a wingspan of 14 meters, height of 5.92 meters, designed to intercept the F-15 Eagle, the Salt Raphael, and the Eurofighter Typhoon. In 1995, the J-11 was finally released. It was a Chinese air superiority fighter. China paid $2.5 billion to get 200 Su-27 Russian kits. Base J-11 is a fourth generation jet fighter. In 1970, the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation proposed light fighter powered by British Rolls Royce Spey 512 engines, but otherwise similar to the MiG-19, thin in surface known as the J-11. The project was abandoned due to difficulties obtaining the engines. The J-11 was finally born in 1995 and 2002, Russian media reported the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation was looking for to replacing a Russian-made J-11 slash Su-27SK components with domestic Chinese-made parts, specifically to replace Russian-made NIIP N001 radar with a Chinese fire control radar based on type 147X slash KLJ dash family the J the AL thirty one F engines with WS ten A and Russian R seventy seven AM with Chinese made PL and PL twelve. Uh, AM one of the G one J11 was photographed with uh, an AL31F and a WS10A. The engine installed for testing in 2002, however, it was not until uh, 2007 when Chinese government uh, in in finally revealed information on the domestic J11. The J11 used to test WS10 was designated as J11 WS, and it was when state television station CCTV7 aired J11 B footage in mid 2007 when existence of J11 with the domestic uh, components were, was finally confirmed official. Shenyang J-15, also known as Flying Shah, is a carrier-based fighter aircraft in development by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. Mm.
and 601 Institute for Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy's aircraft carriers. Rumors initially claimed that the aircraft would be semi-stealth variant, yet later reports indicate it's based on the Soviet-designed Sukhoi Su-33 and is fitted with produced radars, engines, and weapons. An unfinished Su-33 prototype, the T-10K-3, was acquired from Ukraine in 2001 said to have been studied and extensively with development on J-15 beginning immediately afterwards. The J-15 appears, appears to be structurally based on Su-33 indigenous fighter. Features Chinese technology as well as avionics from J-11B program. Origins of the J-20 came from the JXX program, which started in the late 1990s. A proposal from Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group designed Project 718 had won the PLAAF endorsement following an 2008 competition against the Chengdu proposal that was reportedly even larger than the J-20. On 11th of January 2011, the J-20 made its first flight, lasting about 15 minutes, with a Chengdu J-10S serving as the chase aircraft. After the successful flight, a ceremony was held uh, by the pilot Li Gang, uh, chief designer Yang Wei, uh, and general Li Andong. The Deputy Director of General Armaments. The J-31, a fifth generation stealth fighter and a copy of the F-35 Lightning II. It has a crew of one. The appearance of the J-31 raises concern about a potential arms race in Asia. As some of China's neighbors might again start to consider purchasing the F-35 or pursuing the development of their own fifth generation aircraft. Don't don't. The J-31 is a mid-weight twin rudder and twin engine jet with the typical configuration that is commonly shared by other fifth generation fighters such as the Sukhoi T-50J-31 which incorporates certain stealth characters such as forward sweep intake ramps with divertiaries these things. Divertiaries, supersonic inlets or DSI bumps, trapoy, trapeze oil wings in a two-piece canopy. As a link of 6.9 meters, uh, a wingspan of 11.5 meters, a height of 4.8 meters, a wing area of 40 meters, and a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 or 2,200 kilometers per hour if you're that kind of guy. The Z10, also called WZ10, is an attack helicopter developed by the People's Republic of China. It is designed primarily for anti-tank warfare missions, but has secondary air-to-air -air capabilities as well. It was designed by Kamov Design Bureau of Russia, under contract by Chinese government. It was further developed and flight by 602nd Research Institute under Wu Ximing uh, and is being built by Chang'e Aircraft Industries Corporation, CAIC. In 2000, China yet again attempted to obtain a Russian attack helicopter, but the deal for Kamov Ka-50 fell apart just as the Mi-28 Mi deal several years earlier. The repeated failures 
obtaining foreign attack helicopters reinforced feelings that China had no choice but to ignore foreign options and develop its own aircraft and work on the Z-10 accelerated. In the same year, HAMC transferred most of its production responsibilities to CAIC of AVIC-2. The official reason was excessive workload. HAMC was busy producing the HC-1200 uh, and Harbin Z-9 was as well uh, as other fixed-wing aircraft such as the Harbin Y-12 and thus was stretched to the limit. However, many speculated that HAMC was not performing well enough due to rigid ineffectiveness of Soviet-style management practices believed to have caused many companies to go into debt.